Go ahead. So our, our fire right now is over 200,000 acres, um, and it's really more than any single local government can take care of. And so we are uh, asking for assistance. What, what I got out of the conversation today was it really doesn't matter how the fire started, where do we go from here? And that's what I think they're focusing on, which I'm very glad to hear. Uh, the president agrees with uh, me and the representative from Siskiyou County. We need some forest management. We need to properly fund the U.S. Forest Service and allow them to do the job of managing the forest. They know what to do. They know how to do it. We just need to let them do that now. We're actually creating barriers around communities and taking out that dead forest area so that we don't get devastating wildfires like this, but we have a lot of work ahead of us. We uh, manage uh, millions of acres throughout the state, so it's going to take some time to uh, control all those areas. In writing, I was able to provide some additional asks, and that's assistance, for instance, to our ranchers and farmers who lost some uh, grazing land, Assist individual assistance for people that lost their homes, lost their businesses, um, and now may be jobless as a result of the Creek Fire. I sense no tension whatsoever in the room, and uh, I, I, again, that's gra very gratifying to know that they talk about their personal telephone calls that they make back and forth, and uh, the president already knew a lot about what was going on here in California, and it's the governor in the office that's making sure that he gets um, informed about what's happening. We, we all need each other right now, and I think that's an important message that we can't make an impact all by ourselves here locally. Our, our resources get overwhelmed very quickly. We depend on the state and the federal government to work together with us to make sure that we make a difference for the people that have been harmed.